Hey guys, it's Wednesday here at Coyote Classics and this is the second awesome muscle car that we're presenting to you guys today. Um, this is a 1966 Ford Fastback uh, Eleanor version of a 1966 Mustang and it is done absolutely beautifully. Um, there is a ton of receipts that come with this restoration on every part pretty much that was done to this car. This car was restored back in 2014 and 2015 and uh, the restorer just did a fantastic job. Uh, please go to our website coyoteclassics.com. This is not only just an awesome looking car on the outside, uh, the inside is immaculate and so is the undercarriage, the frame, the floors, the trunk floor. Um, the inside of the trunk is just very nicely detailed with a spare, a spare cover, a beautiful uh, Mustang, Mustang carpet. embroidered carpet in there, mat. Uh, just a fantastic car, guys. And to top this thing all off, 289 four barrel with a four speed. Yeah, it don't get better than that. No. Um, and then the color combination too is just fantastic. Like I said, it's a, it's a 1966 Mustang Eleanor. Guys, we're gonna price this thing at $42,995. Uh, and I think it's a fantastic price, guys. There's a lot of Mustangs that are a, a lot more money than this one. And this is a lot of car. Yeah, it really is. Um, I love the choice of a wheel tire combination. Uh, the Restore went with the all chrome US mags on it. Uh, tires are in great shape all the way around. It's got the uh, beautiful uh, GT dual exhaust. It's got the GT headlights, got the GT Shelby scoop. It's got the Shelby stripes. And I'll tell you what, the paint job on this is beautiful. Yeah, they did a great job. And check out the body, D. Um, as far as the body from front to back, it's just absolutely amazing. The silver color is a great color combination. The chrome, the stainless, the horse and corral, all the stuff here in the front. We'll go ahead and videotape that before we open the hood. But uh, all this stuff is all brand new. And it's got receipts for everything. Um, so many times, guys, on these hood scoops, you're gonna see cracks and body filler cracks, stuff like that. Um, on this uh, passenger side, there is none. As we go around here, driver side, I don't see a single one, do you? All the you? way around is yeah. perfect. Yeah, all the way around the back, the top, everything is in great shape. There's a little paint. Yeah, it's got couple, two little tiny, very, very, very small paint imperfections, just kind of a little, what do you call it, a little dirt speck, I suppose. Something that didn't come out in the wet sand and buff. Other than that, guys, this car has all been wet sand and buff. And take a peek at this uh, bottom of this hood. Um, the Restore made this kind of a functional scoop 2D. So it does have the hole in the hood. Um, this gives it a little more air. As we go ahead, all the inner fenders and stuff, during the restoration, they have been, they have been replaced. Um, it's got a new radiator was replaced, brand new Napa Legend battery in it, um, chrome valve covers, four barrel, uh, just a sweet car guys. Look at the top of the frame rails, inner fenders, all that kind of stuff. Very well put Yeah. Uh, the windshield washer bag is there. Even chrome like the oil pan, you can kind of see it from up here, but you can really oh, yeah. see it on the underneath. But uh, just the extra money spent in places like that, what really makes this car great. Yeah, it's a super nice car, just very, very nice. Um, as far as uh, everything else goes, the uh, front fender, the front fender is in beautiful shape. The emblems, the wheel well trim is great. Again, those wheels just really, really set it off. Um, we do have a really nice gap across the top here. Um, so many of these hoods and stuff just don't fit well. Um, as far as our hood goes, it fits excellent. All four corners fit really nice. Uh, top of the fender fits really nice here to the top of the uh, valance. Again, here on the top of the door. Um, this, like I said, this has been done about five years ago. Um, as far as the lower fender, lower door, rocker panel is in excellent shape. We have two paint, tiny little paint chips and they have been touched up. One's right there and one is right here. Um, other than that, no chips or nothing like that. As far as on the lower quarter, it's in fantastic shape over the wheel well is awesome as well. Man, this has got a gorgeous body on it. Just gorgeous. Yeah, it does. Look at out the tailpipes, guys. There's not an ounce of smoke, steam, nothing coming out the back. Um, it's got a brand new uh, Mustang cap. 
new lenses, brand new housings, brand new bumper, brand new uh, trumpets with the chrome around them, new reverse lights. I mean, everything was new during the restoration. Super sharp gun. Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's these, amazing, these amazing. It's gotta be like my, literally probably one of my favorite muscle cars is these fastbacks. I, I gotta admit, they're not the most comfortable thing in the world for big guys, they're not big boy cars. But damn, I could sit and stare at them all day. Exactly. Um, as far as our trunk lid goes, it could, uh, yeah, it could be tightened down just a little more. But uh, we have a really nice even gap from front to back here. Um, the stripes are laid out beautifully. I mean, just gorgeous stripes. It does have the fold down rear seat. And when the restorer did it, he he replaced everything back here, Dalton. I'll kind of show you in a minute. Um, did go do new uh, gaskets and new uh, door handles as well. Doors open and close great. New roof rail rubbers. As far as our door goes, all new door rubbers, felts. Um, do you want to see what Jim eats? As far as our corner of the door, I want the red mustard hat. Um, as far as the corner of the door here, that's all really solid as well. Door panels new, armrest base is new, window cranks are new, door knobs are new. Look at the paint and the door jams. Just a, again, fantastic job. I mean, I don't see any other color so far anywhere on this car. Um, originally, this car came black from the factory, so that's also kind of a neat thing. Um, factory four speed as well. If you look at all my codes on the door, door jam paint is excellent. Um, black interior is how it came as well, and this is super nice interior. When he did it, he knew what he was doing, guys. Put all new uh, bolsters on the seats. I mean, they're all nice and firm. Carpet's new, her shifter. Um, we'll go ahead and go to the back here. Back door panels are excellent. Headliner's nice, visors are new. Uh, fold down rear seat. Just super nice and clean back there. It's got seat belts for two. Inside the glove box, we have our emergency flasher. Um, inside of the glove box pieces are all new as well. Dash pad's new. Horn works and it's got the beautiful wood grain steering wheel to match the wood grain on the dash. Wood grain here, just fantastic. The silver paint on the dash is perfect as well. It's got a real nice idle to it. Trending it now does. on Rock 108. It's got the front speaker with a brand new speaker cover painted black. Sounds great, AM, FM, digital radio. Heater fan works, you can see it just blew out some crap for us. That works. Um, it's got 94,831 miles on the odometer, temp gauge, amp gauge, work, oil pressure's way over on the high side, gas gauge works, temperature's running right in the middle. So, so far, Dalton, every single thing works. We're gonna check and see if that lighter works. The rear view mirror is new and is super tight. It even smells good yeah, in Yeah, lighter works, guys, too. Oh, it does, it does. Yeah. I mean, this is just a very, very nicely restored Mustang. Inside, out, underneath, mechanically, Guys, these cars are, if you're just looking for a, a 65, 66 body, just a body you're gonna spend 15,000 bucks, and then you gotta do everything to it to make it like this for 42,995. Something you can just jump in and drive and enjoy and take it to a car show, car cruise, whatever you wanna do. And a four speed. And a four speed. So if we look up and down the sides of the driver's side, very nice again. Um, just a really good looking car throughout. And the thing a lot of people forget too is not all restorations turn out like this. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. You can spend all kinds of money on a restoration, but not everyone does a fantastic job. Exactly. You know, sometimes after five years, I mean, this paint job's five years old. After five years, a lot of times things will crack, break, chip, you know, bubble, um, all that kind of stuff. And this car looks just really nice. So whoever did it did a good job. Um, as far as our uh, door gap is really nice on the driver's side, it's really tucked in there very nicely along the bottom edge here. Um, in front of the rear quarter is excellent, no bubbles or blisters. Rocker panel is great. Um, there's a little paint imperfection right along here. There's two little tiny ones right there and a couple very, very, very small right there. Um, lower fender is perfect other than that. All steel fenders, guys. Just fantastic car. Again, doors shut nice. Here's your uh, 
Information on the door tag, that's all listed on our website as well. Corner of the door is immaculate, rust free, bottom of the door is excellent. Same thing, inside door panels are all painted body color. It looks amazing there with the black. Everything's brand new, sill plates are new. Even here, Dalton, he replaced all the chrome on the sides of the seats. Yep. That never gets done on Mustangs. We got a lot of Mustangs. Look at the seat belts. Just so you know, these are about 220 bucks. These are the high high quality seat belts for it. Okay, Mustang ones up front as well. Sharp, sharp car. Wood grain steering wheel. Uh, fog lights working. They're right here. Is the correct switch. Wipers work and park correctly. So far, like I said, guys, every single thing works. I mean, this is just ready to jump in and go. We'll go ahead and pass this over to Dalton and we'll take it for a quick spin. It's got a nice sound to it. Too. Yeah, it does. I like the wood grain dash. You roll your window down. Yeah. So yeah, 94,000 miles is you know, very possible that this could be original miles on this car. Very well could be. And I love how they, the dash and stuff silver too. I mean, it's just a, a sweet car. Yeah, very nice. I love the wood grain. Shifts great. Handles the road nice. I like this nice tall shifter too, guys. So we got three four speeds in right now. Um, there's a 66, there's a 66 yellow Mustang, and then a 66 uh, um, or 65 red one, and they've got the little the little shorter shifter. Um, this is an aftermarket Hurst shifter, but it's just nice to rest your hand on up here. Yeah, it is. Chirps the tires going into second. This thing rolls, man. That's 80 mile an hour in third. Backing it down. I mean, this thing's got nice gears in it too. Yeah, it does. As far as our gears, here's another thing with Mustangs, guys. We got our window open, it's a little hot today. Um, but something with Mustangs are, most of them at 60 to 70 mile an hour. I bet 85% of the Mustangs that come in here, they come in with some sort of whine or howl in the rear end. Yeah, they do. Bad so build on rear. the last couple of them, uh, this one and the last couple of them have been really quiet. And that's the same thing. Even in fourth gear, I can peg this thing. The four barrel kicks in. It's still picking up speed very fast. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's just a, a no nice noise car. in the rear end. Yeah, nice car. No vibration. The steering wheel strain. disappointments in this car guys everything works runs great drives great shifts great stops great I, I don't know what else a, a guy would want in this 1966 fastback four speed and uh, just warning you by the time you watch this video it might be sold so if it's something you like then act fast uh, website coyoteclassics.com check out the undercarriage pictures um, and the written information uh, thanks for watching hit the subscribe button uh, for more sweet videos